Hey everybody, I just wanted to show you, look, my first sprouts of the year. So this is my round zucchini. And you see here, I got two sprouts because I planted two seeds. And what I'm gonna do, once they are a little bit bigger, what I'll actually do is show you how to transplant one of these instead of just picking one off. But as you can see, I got a little bug problem already, probably roly polies. But they've only been in the ground, the seeds have only been in the ground for just a few days and they've already sprouted. So these are not the true leaves, these are the sprout leaves. They're, they're the ones that are already in the seeds. So these little ones way in there for all of you, those right in the middle, those are gonna be the true leaves. So once the first two true leaves pop open, then I will uh, show you how to transplant one of them and uh, replant one back in the same spot. So that way I'll get two uh, round zucchini plants for the same space as one, and I'll show you how to transplant. It's gonna be so much fun. Now, some of you have been wondering and asking me, well, how often do you water your plants? Well, now that this is grown, it's gonna get watered more often because it's already got that tap root from the seed. So it's gonna get water a little bit more often. The, the uh, marjoram that I have around the edge hasn't sprouted yet, but I'll show you uh, what I'm going to do and how to test if your plants, sorry for the mess, I need to clean up higher. If your plants need to be watered. Now this is my mint. So depending on uh, what plant that you have, depends on its water needs. So the mint is a really cool plant that loves to grow under a dripping faucet. So it wants to have a nice constant wet environment. Not soggy environment, just wet, okay? So you never really want them to dry out too much, all right? But this is a very hardy plant. It's kind of hard to kill it. Um, so it's a good for beginner one. But over here, I have my bunching onion. And as you can see, the top here is very, very dry. So a good way to test, no, they haven't sprouted yet or anything, so I don't want to drown my seeds because they can drown and then you won't have anything. But when you have a plant growing, the way you want to test to see if you need to water it is to do the finger test, okay? So it's kind of obvious, it's really dry on top. But if you stick your finger in it, and if it comes up dry after about an inch in, you need to water it, okay? And that's for any climate. Um, what I end up doing for a lot of these plants is once they have sprouted and all that, then what I'm gonna do is um, put straw, well, hay, the leftover hay from my rabbits, and put it over the top. And what that's gonna do is insulate the soil so less water is going to be um, taken up by the sun. If that makes sense. Okay, now, here's another thing. Now, if you don't have a watering can, ooh, if you don't have a watering can, let me show you what I do. So, I've got a bunch of these Solo Cups from last year up at Holes in the Bottom because this was my seed starter cups. So, what I'm going to do, because I don't want to actually flush out my seeds, because that can happen if you have, they're not rooted yet, or they're just beginning to root, but haven't sprouted yet. You don't want to just pour water on them because they can be displaced, so you don't want that. So if you don't have a watering can or you don't want to drag the hose up, you know, where are you going to be just for a little bit of water, just get yourself a, a solo cup, put some holes in the bottom, and then when you put water in it, you're just going to go around watering it and it won't displace your seeds because it'll be kind of like a, you know, a redneck watering can <laughs> all right so that's what i'm going to do to water this now i'm going to do just enough to make sure that it's wet about an inch um i know how much that is it's uh, half a gallon probably for this size is a five gallon um grow bag uh, or three gallon grow bag i'm not entirely sure but it's going to be about that much it's you know it's just seeds if it's a larger plant, what I would do is water it until I see water coming out of the bottom. Now, if it's really super dry, like this is, you know, down about an inch, it's dry. What you want to do is gently water the top, let it soak in, water again, and let it soak in. Once you water it and it slowly sinks in, it's watered. You don't need to put any more water to it. Okay? All right. So there's some of your tips for today, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!